Speaking of which, what delicious meal right. are you making today? Right, so we're going Japanese today. So yep. we've got a Japanese rice bowl. We're Yum. using beef. And we're going, we're going to make a beautiful sauce with like a rich uh, sweet soy, some soy sauce, mirin, sake, and it's all going to cook together, like caramelized onions in there, mm. going to serve a raw mm. egg yolk on it, and we've got yeah. the rice in the rice cooker cooking away, so nice. you don't even have to cook rice today. Oh, brilliant, <laughs> making it easy. Okay, well, we'll get more of this a little later on. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko kitchen, one of my favorite parts of the day when we get to cook food. But more importantly, we get to eat it a little later on. Now, Mark, you're making a Japanese beef rice bowl this morning, which sounds delicious. Yep, yeah, so really, really easy. Loads of great flavours in there. And, uh, and we're using a, a nice sort of, it's almost like a, a flank steak. Okay, so really, nice. really cheap. But what we're going to do is we're going to slice it nice and uh, thin across the grain. So mm. it's not going to take too long to cook. So we still get a little bit of texture. But we're going to have all these amazing flavours. You know, we've got the sweet soy in there, which is really rich. Mm. Um, and then sweet. And then some nice soy and sake and mirin as well. So it's sort of a, a sweet and sweet salty beef. It's going to be beautiful. yummy. It will be yummy, I'm sure. Right. First job. Yes. All right. We're going we're gonna to start getting the sauce ready. OK. So a little bit of oil goes in there. Yep. You've got your spoon. I've got my right. spoon. So peel the onion. I've taken the root off. Taking the top off, and I'm going to slice it across like that. So I want nice fine slices. Why are you doing it that way? Just because so we get some fine. Yeah, just so we get some nice slices. Okay, good. You know, otherwise you're going to get the root on the end of it. So mm -hmm. just take your time. Very skilled at that. Oh, you jinx it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just take your time. Just but just make sure you get some nice fine uh, slices. Now you don't want it too thick. You know, okay. that's it's going to be part of it. So you're going to get these beautiful little strands of onion which we're going to sort of caramelise off now, and then you get the really thin pieces of uh, beef as well. You know? Nice work. OK, good. That is a good slice. I can see why you're a chef. There you go. Right, so that goes in there. Yep. So we want to cook that down, probably turn it down like onto a medium heat now. Okay. And, you know, if you've got the time when you're doing it, probably about 10 minutes cooking. Yep. You know, just really sort of, you know, sweat them down. You can get a little bit of colour on there, but bring out the flavour of the onion. And then we've got our beef. OK, so this is the slicing with the grain. Yeah, so you can see on here, you can see the grain, it's sort of running across like that. Mm. Right, so if you if you slice with the grain, yes. it's going to be quite tough. So if you slice against the grain. Uh, against the grain, okay. Yeah, yeah, good. you can see you get all these like little, um, you know, you'll get the little bits in there. Beautiful, okay. And we want to we want to slice it really, really, really thin, okay? So I'll leave it to you. take your time. And a good tip as well, get your meat. Pop it in the freezer for like half an hour and it will just firm up a little bit. And that makes it easier to yeah. slice. And then you can just um, put it out and then just slice it, you know. Because you can see the meat's quite soft now, it's at room temperature, which is fine. But you just need a really sharp knife so you can keep, keep it nice and um, thin. And I guess, as we've said before, a lot of people have those steels in the drawer and they just never use them. Like, how often, <laughs> can't be honest, right now, how often have you taken out the steel and sharpened your knives at home? We just we, never do it. No, we, we used to have a steel at home, like when I was a kid and growing up, but I use it as like a pretend sword. <laughs> But and then, yeah, and then I was it. a chef, and then he's it's sharp and knife. Well, yeah. Yeah. maybe yeah, it started, really didn't it? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Chef well, maybe that <laughs> was the beginning. Yeah. No, but it's, it is really important to have a nice sharp knife, and of course, always be careful with your knives, but you're we a trained professional, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Most of the time. Most of the time. Um, we should do that. We should teach the nation how to uh, sharpen, sharpen knives, because if you've got a sharp knife, it's much more enjoyable to cook. Yes, no. Okay, <laughs> okay good, we'll do that. I'll put it on the list to do. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so important as well, you know, if you're using a cheaper sort of um, cut of meat and a flank steak, we've got all this fat in here. We don't want any of this um, hard fat and sinew in there, okay? okay. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be chewy. I'd right. feed that to Rufus, my dog. Oh, he'd love that. I'll probably you? cook it up for him, season it a little too. I'm, I'm one of those dog owners, <laughs> crazy. Okay, cool. Right, meat goes in there now. Yep. So thin. We're just going to just cook it down, maybe give it two or three minutes. Just want to get a little bit of colour on there. You know, we're not, we're not sealing the meat, so that's fine. We're actually going to be braising it in all this liquid in a minute. So we're just going to start the cooking. So once it goes brown, we're going to start making the sauce and finish cooking this. Okay, so the braising of it will make it nice and tasty and juicy. And yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I will keep stirring this. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> right now, though, here in the Beko kitchen, we need to finish off the sauce for these rice bowls. The onion and what else did you put in there? Onion, beef. beef. Is that it? That's all that's, we've got. That's all we've put in It's so looking far. good. Is that the colour we're after? Yeah, that's it. So it's all nicely browned. Right, now we're going to start adding all the um, ingredients. Oh, the so some sake. Yes. Some mirin. Mirin. Oh, is nice what is mirin? Sweetness. It's like a sweet cooking wine, but it's very sweet. Taste it. Oh, yeah. No, it's that beautiful. is. beautiful. Oh. Some soy oh, sauce in nice. there. Yeah. 
A little pinch of sugar as well. Okay. And this says uh, sweet soy as well. So this is really thick. You see how syrupy this is? I can smell it. Like, really. Look at that, you know, so you've got lots of, right. lots of sweetness in there. You know, saltiness from the soy as well. So just coat everything around. And then I've got a little bit of uh, beef stock as well. So that's going to give us some extra liquid just to braise that beef. And we're just nice. going to cook it maybe 15, 20 minutes or so. Sauce is going to reduce down. Beef's going to be nice and tender. Those onions are going to take up all that flavor. You know, and you've got extra juice as well to put on your rice. Brilliant. OK, that is a great brew. It smells incredible. Now for the second part. Right, so pan on here. Yes. I'm going to leave you in charge of these. OK. Toast them. Toast nice, the sesame evenly, seeds. Nice, uh, evenly golden brown. <laughs> all right. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Yes, right. chef. And then, uh, and then we've got the rice, right? So we put it in the rice cooker, so that's all cooked. Nice. So that's, um, you know, idiot proof. Remember last time we cooked rice? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, buy a rice cooker, it's brilliant. Yeah, a lot easier. Right, so um, we're just going to pop some in the bowl. So take it out whilst it's nice and hot. And then, this is great, you can do this for anything. So just sort of lightly fluff it up with a fork. And then we've got some spring onions, so we're going to give it some um, some colour, some texture, some freshness. Okay. Okay. So white and green pot. Just slice it nice and thin. Loads of uh, loads of spring and onion in here. This is okay. great. Nice. Ooh. Just no. about forgot about the sesame seeds. <laughs> <laughs> one job. Very excited one job. about your slicing there. <laughs> I want to learn how to do that properly. Oh, I can teach you. Okay. Good. One day. One day. Right. So. Um, Spring onions go in there. Yes. A good knob of butter goes in there. Okay. How good is that? Little pinch of salt. You don't want it too much because we've got the soy in there. And then what you want to do is just, you don't want to be crushing the rice now, but you just want to be folding it through. You're mixing those spring onions through and just melting that butter and you okay. just get a nice coating mm. on the uh, rice. So this Yum. is going to be great. And this is going to be the base of, um, you know, what our uh, beef and sauce sits on. Right. You know? So it's so, uh, just so simple. I'm going to put some uh, toasted sesame seeds through there. <laughs> you forgot again. I, just, uh, <laughs> I would have smelt them when they're at their optimum, you see. At, at the peak. At their peak. They're so, just starting to toast up like yeah, now. A few uh, sesame seeds go in there as well, so you get yep. that flavour through it. Um, save some for the garnish on top, a little bit of spring onion on top, and we're going to do a raw egg yolk on top of that as well. Ooh, okay. So you've got that warm, salty, sweet beef raw egg yolk and the rice and you just mix it all together and it's just going to be absolutely beautiful. Well that is a brilliant take on some beef, the Japanese rice beef bowl. It's very I good, very it. simple, mm. straight to the point, tasty, yummy. Oh yeah, okay well I cannot wait to try this which we'll do a little later on and if you want the recipe head along to our website. Hey this looks amazing Mark. The eggs rolled off. Oh but Aww. it still looks good, <laughs> not beautiful. <laughs>